And hello and welcome. Q Sports International and Predator present the Apex Wisconsin Women's Open. 58 ladies began their journey here in this quest for $60,000. We're down to the final four. In this first semi-final match, we have Taiwan's Che Chu Chow, Rita Chow, versus Bulgaria's Kristina Zalteva. This is George Teacher in the booth with Tim De Reuter. Hello, Tim. Good morning. How are you this morning? Great. What a match we have here. We have the Women's World 10-Ball Champion, the Women's World 9-Ball Champion, sitting in Rita Chow against Cristina Zalteva, who has finished several thirds and thirds and thirds and uh, what was it? Uh, well, Puerto Rico, all over. She's just, game keeps stepping up and stepping up. She's won the lag. Well, she's been putting herself out a lot lately. Also been playing a lot of open events, so playing against men. So she's been really trying to catch up with her game. She's been investing, and I think it's paying off. It sure is. The both ladies are undefeated. They haven't lost a set in this tournament. Cristina defeated Alexandra Gulyakova, Kaylee McIntosh, Priscilla Kinsley, uh, Weiwei in straight sets. And now she's facing Rita Chow. And it looks like she's left the one ball, doesn't it, Tim? I think she did. Just to hold a cue ball for the two might be a little tough. Of course, this is now the fifth day the tables get some play in. So the rails will play a little faster. So then these kind of shots get more sensitive. More controllable, too. Well, if the rail is fast in this case, yeah, she played it great though because she really dragged the cue ball. But that was really not that easy. No, she did a good job. She almost, uh, almost like she dragged it. He, is what you said? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. John Lehman, your referee, standing over her shoulder watching the shot. It is all ball fouls. It is ten ball. Two races. Two out of three races to four. But if it goes to the third and deciding set, if they're tied at three, it will go to a shootout. She's cut it in the corner instead of the side and made it in nice shape on the three. But to get to the four, it's, oh, it's up on top, so. Miss Chow looking good right here with two delicate shots in a row. Another one coming up. Doesn't want to hit the seven. Because it'll slide that cue ball up by the four. And the five ball, she's wanting to see what where to get for the four to get to the five. It appears to go by the six. Yeah, I think it does go by the six. And if she can drag the cue ball here a bit. No, she's going for the other angle on the four. And she's missed the three, so... I was surprised she played it this way because getting this angle on the four, I'm not sure if she really could get on the five ball after. Well, she hit the three ball a little thick, so had she cut it, she would have come out further. Yeah, but just anywhere on the left side of the four was not really that interesting for me to get to the five anyways. Or maybe I'm misjudging something, that's possible, but because the five only goes to the bottom left, She's on this almost the same angle. I think she can get down to the right, to where the cue ball, opposite side where the cue ball is now. Follow. It's this not easy though. If you hit it a little bit too firm, that top spin is going to make sure you stay close to that short rail instead of really coming down. That's very true because it's going to have top spin. But as you said, the rails are settling down, so it might not uh, but, but but slide as much. But the cloth and the is still a little bit slidey, and the balls are clean. So you got to make sure you have a smooth follow through. If you punch it a little bit too much, it stays up high. And that little nibble is going to cost her quite a bit. Opening game, in the first race to four for the first set. Christina is a 677 Fargo. 
as opposed to her opponent, who is a 776. 100 points difference. Well, then again, she hasn't really left an easy shot for Rita Chow. Of course, it's makeable, but just being that close to the five doesn't make it really comfortable cutting the five. draw seven in the side I like watching Rita play with the shaft she plays with the micarta feral and at one time I had one on my cue he was made by Andy Scott in Phoenix Arizona mm -hmm. and it played very very nice it was had a great hit to it she's the only one I've seen play with the micarta feral this brown micarta Come up for the 10 ball, probably two rails to stay away from st from that long rail. Yeah, nicely done. And this to open her account. In this Predator Bank. Open the account in the Predator Bank. First game goes to Rita Chow. In a race to four. Only players left in this tournament are Rita Chow and Cristina Zalteva and Allison Fisher and Cristina Tekach coming up at uh, one o'clock in the second semifinal. Who will it be in the finals? One of these two ladies versus Allison Fisher or Cristina Tekach? We'll know at five o'clock. Actually, we'll know at about three when it's over. <laughs> When the second semi is over. Great call. <laughs> <laughs> nice save. <laughs> yeah, you, you never know what's going to happen in a match. Yeah. So. Or as we like to say in pool, when nice recovery. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it will be tough to pick a final within these four ladies, though. Breaking off in the second game. The ladies from Taiwan. Women's World. First time we've had a 10 ball and no, it's not the first time. It's happened once before with Kelly Fisher, I believe, where she held the World 10 ball and the World 9 ball uh, championships at the same time. This young lady at the table holds those titles right now. She played excellent in Atlantic City, and she played great in Austria. So main thing is, how do you get to the three ball? I believe she's going to drop this in with a hair of left spin. And then her top spin bend around the six. Yeah, she's going to stay perfect, just perfect. Now she's going to come straight down all the way, or will she come to the right side between the rail and the eight? She has the angle to do that. Can she control the speed? Yeah, I think the six ball is a little bit in the way to get to the short side of the three. So where she was looking at shooting the three in the top left corner, I think that might be her best option. Oh, a little bumpy bump. Yeah, she might set up a 310 combo. How's that? Well, she can definitely attack this because if she she's cutting it on the left side, so she can bring the cue ball up, just up table anywhere. So it's going to be safe anyways if she does not make this 10 ball. But it's, I don't think it's a too difficult um, uh, shot. No, though. it looks good. And the cue ball, like, as you said, it's going to go up towards the nine when she hits this, between the nine and the four. Oh. She's left it. 
Oh, and I know what's gonna happen here. She's gonna cut the three ball in and play position on the four. You don't think she'll go for the 10? No, she goes for the 10. Now, the one <laughs> thing about having the 10 ball where this is at is she could follow it in very easily. Yeah, the, I mean, I think I would play the speed to where it might never well, happen. It'll probably be double kiss and go in, but it could follow it in. I would be thinking about that one. Well, I could, you're still going to shoot the shot. You know, you shoot the shot all day long, right? I'm not sure if I make it all day long. But I didn't say that. You shoot the shot, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and fire one. Yeah, just a little bit too much draw. I think she was making sure not to follow it in. She just wanted to catch the top part. Or maybe she was trying to play it too clean. Sometimes because yeah. people are trying to do something so perfect, they don't really realize that if they make the temple in an ugly manner, it doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. Just yeah. just make the ball. Like it's sometimes people tend to get too cute on their next shot or fire too. Yeah, I like this With speed. Oh She's yeah. already called it. As just the speed that if you don't make it that the three ball goes possibly three wheels away but yeah I'm, I'm going looks pretty straight too and yeah. there it is it took two shots to get it but get it she did and they're tied at one Nicely done, Christina. Rita Chow sitting back, wondering how she missed it the first time. Just undercut it just by a little. Or was it an overcut? Her Q is a KP Tech Q. A good view of the Predator Arena lights reflecting off of the Predator Arcos balls sitting on this Predator nine foot apex table on top of this Predator Arcadia cloth. And the cue ball will not find a hole. But the one ball does. And a nice safety opportunity here. Sure. Just nibble that uh, two ball past the eight and put the cue ball up against the eight ball. Or she can run the cue ball up. There's three balls to get behind. Let's see how she chooses to, to do it. Oh. She chose the yeah. three balls to get behind. And nicely, too. Took the jump skew out yeah. of play. Great shot. Well, I'm not too sure about that. Yeah, because cause she might be able to go through there. Yeah, if yeah. she can find the jump, like for the jump to yeah. have the gap and go over the seven, then. Yeah, it, it, it's there. Uh, uh, no, no. No? Or at least I, I don't like it that much anymore. Yeah. No, good shot from Sadeva. And Rita Chow's journey to this position of being in the semifinals, she de defeated Shui Ching Chang, Tram Gwyn Bak, Kelly Fisher, Seo Soa, all in straight sets, not losing a set. Neither one of these women have even lost one set in this tournament so far.
Nice shot by, by Christina. She's put herself in a good place here because this, she draws this. Oh, it's gonna come to the nine a little bit, so. I gotta make I, sure. I think I played this just stun. Just, just stun. Stand, stand the ball. Come off the rail. Yeah, come off the rail, stay away from the nine. Play the short side on the four. Yeah, just enough. She cuts the four. The one or two rails up to the five. That is a Mez EC4 limited edition queue. Oh, she hit that a little firm though. No, she's not on there. And you know, sometimes you get in those spots where it's even awkward to play safety. Mm -hmm. That might be right now. Oh, uh, it's not awkward. I don't. Uh, she's gonna thin this five and just come around, leave the uh, probably not move the five ball much at all. There's right. also a window. No, just a long, long okay. rail. Just a long I rail I thought kick. I thought she was a little closer to the five. Yeah. Then it, it, it was just right. Now, right here, if she's gonna be going rail first, which is the, the way most, most. Well, I guess she can see a little piece of it. She's not gonna kick at it. More than a little piece. Yeah, and that five ball got tied up with the seven and doesn't go no more, so. So, looked at the combination first. Does look like it can get really close, though, because shooting from this angle into the five does throw the seven ball to the corner. Oh, she wanted to keep going with the cue ball. See, that seven ball got really close. Yes, it and did. She did not even hit it straight on. Yeah. Well, they're tied at one, but this young lady at the table right now played such a beautiful set in Atlantic City versus Allison Fisher. It was just a joy to watch. Great rhythm, almost, almost perfection, and her results were nine. I think it was nine zero against Allison Fisher. Crushing defeat for Allison. Any man or any woman that would have been playing her the way she played, would have been in their chair. That's one of the few times in the pool match that I've seen that the opposing player, all they can do is get up and say, great match. Oh, will she get by it? It looks like she will. Nope. Just a hair short. Yeah, she had two options on that seven ball. Drop it in soft and take a longer eight, which was not a guaranteed easy shot. Or going two rails. <coughs> Just playing a messe here. Oh, uh, did she nipple the nine? Don't think so. I guess not. It wasn't but called. I don't think Sateva needs more on this. She's got ball in hand position on this eight ball now. Oh, yeah, she, she did. did. Oh, she yeah, did. I thought so. Yeah, oh. she did. And nobody seen? No, guess not. I was the only one. <laughs> oh, apparently, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's still early in the morning, you know. Well, I'm awake. <laughs> yeah, for the last five hours. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, no. I do get up early. <laughs> By pool standards. They're going to come back and look at this video, and they're going to, because she's going to say, I could have had ball in hand instead of this long shot on a nine. Especially, there she goes. She's going to get it anyway, so it's not going to matter. And for the first 
one game lead other than the opening rack. Halfway to their goal. Four games. We, we, we talked about fun things to do in Wisconsin. What is Wisconsin's favorite junk food? Do you have the chat up? What's Wisconsin's favorite junk food, guys? No Googling. I used to work for is this it, is company. It, is it Culver's? Culver's? Yeah. It's not junk food, that's fast food. Fast and junk, well. Okay. <laughs> I'm not good in riddles anyways, let's go watch pool. Twix candy bar. <laughs> One oh. ball still goes in, even with a kiss. Shot on the two, no, the ten's in the way. Makes the eight as well. Is there a big value to jump this? Uh, where's the three? That's the first question. Because the jump looks routine. Yes. I'm going to say yes. I would think it, I think I just pull out the jump cue, and in fact, Christina has a very nice uh, J Hanshu jump cue. Well, the other thing is, is where would you push out to? I get right. this is basically a push out spot. So it's a purple heart shaft on this J Hanshu. Oh. Good jump, just not quite where she wanted to hit it. Back from four on the side. Boy, did she draw back. Not over the 10, yes, over the 10. Yeah, it might not be such a big deal. Well, it is in this case. She might have to play for a bank on the five, or if she can get really straight on the five to the side, then she might still be able to drop it in. But then there's nothing she can do with a cue ball to get for the six. Uh, nice camera angle to see you. Watch that 10 ball. All ball fouls. Yeah, or you just go three <laughs> rails. <laughs> that was a good shot. That was a very good shot. taking advantage of the new cloth and sliding balls off the rail. Oh, might be a little firm. Yeah. Quite surprised because she had a real Pretty big window to get on the seven. Yes, it was. So, and this is anywhere to the to the left of that cue ball. Right. And she's trouble. Will she go rail first, or just kick it and try to hold the cue ball? Well, it doesn't really look nice for both. She's gonna try to jump this well, or with her playing cue. Or if she's gonna masse around the thing. Oh, okay, that was could have been masse. I. But see if the mass say is going to drive you. It's going to end up way over to the uh, right side of the table. Well, that's thin th of a cut on the nine. Well, you, if you go for the mass say and then you hit it thin. Kick. 
If you hit the mass eight thin, you bang the seven ball up to the long rail again. I like what she's doing here with medium speed and just make sure she doesn't scratch off the seven. It's gonna work out. It's gonna work out real good. <laughs> you know, this is one of those moments where you have to sit back and say, stuff happens. Yep. She was trying to leave distance on that and clear the ball two rails up by the side into the middle of the table and ended up with a, she got the best reward she possibly could from that kick. Yeah, try to hit the outside here. Call it in the side in case you catch it thick. Don't make it and go up table. Nice hit. Well, she's got the other side and well, she has left it on. Hit the other side of what she wanted to. Jin Lee Power, one of her sponsors. She came up on her shot there. She came up and she's going to get safe again. Yeah, I mean, very lucky to leave this safe, but I had expected her to, to yeah, to make this, to be honest. But then she came up and I already seen it. Kicking the ball to the side pocket, off the bottom rail. She'll have a good angle. And if she misses the side pocket, short or long, it could end up in the, uh, well, it's not going to be hard enough. I was going to say, it could end up in the middle of the head rail. Yeah, but she anyway. caught that yeah, too thin. Way too thin. Great chance here to level the score to each. To each it is. Okay, Tim. One more little fun fact. Favorite dessert. State dessert. Cheese curds. <laughs> That's close. There's two, actually. Custard cake. Ah, I'll have a custard cake. That's good. It's actually one of my favorites. I think it's one of the best breakfasts in life. I get mine at Costco all the time. John Lehman, wrecking the Predator Arcos two balls there. Pretty Predator Arrow Wreck for Rita Chow to break off in this fifth wreck. A couple mistakes here and there from both ladies. Maybe some nerves, early nerves in the semi final. A little bit. A uh, couple of good rolls, too. The answer was Kringle and apple pie. Oh, she hit this great. Look at this for a break. Make the one straight in the side. Well-controlled cue ball, and that two ball just opened up perfect. Straight on this two ball though, so not an easy starter. Going to draw back for the three in the side or three in the top left corner. Does that go? Not sure. 
Can't tell from this angle. No, it's, it, it'll slide off the rail. Yeah, if you cheat yeah. the bucket, but it's always d difficult to play on the, the cheating of the bucket to slide it in because sometimes you will overcut it a little bit and hang up the ball. That's right. And like you said, fifth day of play on this table. Tend to start grabbing sooner or later. And it yeah. slid in. Good job. Nice shot. So now cut the four, draw the cue ball off the seven towards the five. If she can get nicely on the five with where the six ball is. She would be in a pretty good spot. Did she push the seven two? No, it's okay. It was okay. Did not nestle up against the ten. Long shot on the five. You think she'll take this six ball on the side? Yeah, I think it's so. It looks like it. It lines up real nice she for goes the seven. She maybe drops this in and softly bump the second rail, the, the short rail. She will have a small angle on the six to come off the rail, have a nice angle on the seven to get to the eight. It's just this. She doesn't have to pound it or anything. No. Just make sure you have a smooth swing. Only got to hit long rail, short rail. She's following it, it looks like. Yeah. Yeah. I thought she could have just gone to the rail and come right back out a little bit. It was the same angle. Rita Chow from Taiwan. Looking good through this rack. Looking to get on the hill first. They're tied at two. It's a race to four. This is a very important game. Yeah. And in what way can you do it better? She's doing a great job. As she normally does. And now this angle for this nine ball is just perfect. Mm. Could have been a little softer and she'd have a little more angle. No, I think it's okay. You can yeah. stun oh the no. cue ball over. Yeah. Nicely falling on the 10 there. And Ms. Chow will be breaking to close out the first set. But with this hand rack, it doesn't mean it's going to be predictable nor easy. Young lady from Bulgaria, Christina Zalteva. You can see the Ms. Q on her shirt and Kamui. Both are sponsors. If you've just joined us, both ladies got to this semi-final match undefeated, have not even lost a set. No shootouts. Ten ball on the break does not count. It will respot. Early tens do win you the game, but not on the break. You know, almost that same one ball, but the four ball went. Oh, she might play a bank here. Two way shot. Bank draw the cue ball up to the six. In case you make it, you got the two ball on the side. And it's lined up good for the bank, too, with just a little bit of kind of a 
little bit of a draw. Not oh, much. She, she's looking at banking it and go a little bit forward, but then still, if she plays double speed, good chance to not leave anything. Yeah, she could be looking at just passing the one ball between the rail and the two for a safety. Both. Wouldn't blame her for either one. I think I'd go for the safe. Oh, I like it. It went. It, it worked. Yeah, either one was good. I just in that one particular instance, I would have gone for the safe. So you never play safe, but now you now, play safe. Now I play safe. That's wow. right. <laughs> I I lean to I, I lean for the aggressive shot. Yeah, I usually do. Ninety-five percent of the time, that's the five percent that uh, I'm gonna duck. Confuse the heck out of my opponent. <laughs> <laughs> well, then now she's in a great position to finish his first set. Not much Christina could have done from two each. Is she going to get behind the six here? Yeah, it looks like it. Well, she's got the rail first. Yeah, of course, but I think she was trying to stay away from yes, the six Yes, she was. Ball. No, I, uh, you don't need to want to go and rail also first here. It's she's, she's right handed. And she's bridging over that nine, or just play be close to that nine. And so she can't reach, and it's a little awkward here. The rail first is tough. It looks like she's going to kick it down the rail. Oh, this one is tough. I, I, w I would much because rather. Because the well seven ball is in the way. I think you made a good point, Tim. I think the fact that she's right-handed and has a hard time reaching the ball, she can't massay the ball just a hair that she needs to for the shot. So she's going to go for this kick. She's got a hole. This works. I mean she's going to be close to the seven. Yeah, she's Very close. She's really trying to play two rails. Is she playing with some speed? Not much. Yeah. That would have worked, but uh, I think she could even mess say that with the bridge. Yeah, or the extension. Yeah, or, or the extension. Yeah, but mm, I can understand why she felt awkward in this position. Yes, and yeah. Yeah, this kick was not that easy. So. But they see it better than we do at the table. And they hit him better than we do at the table. <laughs> so to get on the double hill here. further than she like to be this is also a little awkward if she goes forward I feel like she's going to run into the nine if she stuns the cue she would get really high on the eight and then for a longer shot so and she's looking at just making sure she has a shot on the eight Wisconsin Women Open semifinal. Where would you like to be on a Sunday morning other than playing in the semifinal of the Wisconsin Women's Open? In my bed? No, okay, <laughs> just wondering. <laughs> no, I could be the gym. It's supposed to say church. You're in Wisconsin. You're in the dairy capital of the world, farmland. What's their favorite drink? So, tough cut on the eight. <laughs> <laughs> Two rails, center of the table. No way she's going to get straight on the nine, so we'll have to settle it. Way. Oh. I was well. I was gonna say <laughs> a more difficult <laughs> shot. Well, this is not easy as well. Like no, I didn't it's expect it's her to run cut. into into the nine. Thought yeah. she was gonna play with a little left spin. And 
Make sure she didn't bump the 9. I think she yeah. can hold the cue ball still. Yeah, nice shot. And here's your shot for double heel, as you said. Yeah, and Rita did have a great opportunity after she made that bank. You would have not expected her to make that silly mistake yeah. getting to the five. Well, she actually, she's rolled up on a couple shots. And, and she's hooked herself. Uh, that was the third time, I believe. But she still led three to two at that time. So. Cristina Zaldeva to make it an exciting one rack first set. Exciting, exciting. John Lehman, our head referee, giving it the white glove treatment. Left-handed young lady from Bulgaria. I just now noticed she was left-handed. I guess it goes with the fact that I'm clueless half the time, right? We all are. Uh-oh, nice Aye. kiss. If you're Rita Chow. Christina, not so much. Didn't like that kiss at all. That four-railer, there's always two four-railers in the rack. In this case, the seven and the three, they went all around. And the seven ball kissed the, one, the cue ball in, so open table, but to get on that four ball could be a challenge. She might have to play the three in the top left corner and follow the cue ball for the four on the side. And then this, wh where do you go to? I'm just going to come up right by. She could try to push the three ball up in front of the uh, side pocket right here. And she'll have perfect shape on the two. Instead, she's gone to the side. But she had an angle where she could have come over and bumped the three, been straight on the two, and set up the three. She did play good speed here, though. Yes. Like it, This was really easy to get a strange angle on the two. And this is just above this with a little angle to go to the right side of the table. She's got the plan. She's got the right plan. This will be a touchy shot. Speed is key because the angle seems natural. It could fall forward on her, though. I, I do like playing topspin here. Just topspin, move over two diamonds. Oh. Some early drama here. Who would have expected her to miss that three ball? Yeah, the current world champion is feeling the nerves a bit. Here comes a pretty obvious safety, cutting the left side of the ball, wall of balls, and get behind that wall. She's not going to get behind the wall of balls. She hit that yeah, way too full. She's left it on as well. Yeah. She hit it way too full, and she's left a nice little drag shot that gets her position on the four and the side. I don't think that shot clock helped either, because just it as she, she was going to shoot, yeah. then the clock started beeping. And then she started to take a couple more strokes because she was trying to make sure to still get there in the time. And yeah, they got to realize they have four or five beeps before they have to really worry. Well, before they have to pull the trigger. And she was ready to pull the trigger on the second beep. Oh, and that could be a costly mistake from Zlateva. as long as she doesn't get behind the, f the six ball here. And she's using the correct English to stay away from that. A 
There's some work to be done. <laughs> the work is six balls she has to run. play herself straight on the seven or leave an angle to get to the center of the table that's a natural angle just don't go too far yeah I guess center of the table and then I am wondering if you've got the eight in I think you can shoot the nine in the same pocket as the eight it's a little bit it's not super guaranteed like you could get a little closer to ten. Oh. She's perfect, absolutely perfect. Oh, she even got and better nice, to play yeah. to the right side yeah. of the nine. Then you don't even have to bother with yep. that whole ten ball. Just a little bit of a hint of inside, as C.J. Wiley likes to say. Hint of inside. So these two balls to win the first set and. Yeah, after that scratch on the break. Oh, she did it again. She again jumped up. Oh, there is some nerves here. And she's talking to herself about him. Telling him to go away. This is for the first set. And a four to three set. Cristina Zalteva finally loses a set. We'll go to a small break and be right back with some uh, highlights. Back to the 2023 Predator Apex Wisconsin Open Women's Open. We're in the semifinal here. Rita Chow just won the first set. Let's see how she reeled it in. Nice shot sliding that three ball off the rail. Nice shot to get on the six here to make this rack runnable. Yeah, nice two-way shot Great there. shot here. That was a great shot here. That music will wake you up, Tim. There you go. Folks, I wish you could see it. I want a, I want a camera in here. Tim was rocking out to that music. That'll keep you guys awake. Yeah, that was the set winning shot right there. Not, she's not happy with her performance so far. You could see it. Like she's not. Yes. She's not been executing great. Yeah. She, she might be just. You know, I, I, and I hate to try to relate, but a lot of times when I, when I'm playing. I get unhappy with the fact that I'm, why am I so nervous? Why, why is this bugging me? What, what, what is this uncomfortable? I mean, one day you handle the pressure different than the other day. And like some day yeah, some days you struggle with the nerves, just like anybody else. I mean, it's, it's the way how you approach them. Everything is in your mind right here. I don't think this match has been too great from both ladies. To be honest. Like they, I know both ladies can play better. They made a couple of mistakes, mainly the pressure. So, and that's 
just how they handled this particular situation right here. They are in the semi-final of a big tournament in the arena. Crowd. But experience is gonna get the winner through. I mean, that's how usually these matches go. Well, you never answered my question as far as the state drink. I gave you a huge hint. Dairy capital of the world. What's the state drink? Water. <laughs> it's a state <laughs> drink everywhere. Yeah, so we'll be breaking off in this set. No, Chow will Chow be breaking will be off breaking. as Slateva started in the first set. Breaking from the side. Has been making the one on the break a couple times. Let's see if she can have a nice control break as she had last time. One ball got awful close. Yeah, I think that one ball goes. She's looking at what kind of angle she's wanting on the two ball. That was just to try to hold a cue ball there for the two. That's exactly why she missed that ball. She didn't want to slide by that uh, six and get behind it. Milk. So I think she's going to cut that one ball into the seven. And then bring the cue ball to rails behind the three, four, eight. There is a scratch. Did she hit it hard enough? That no. it. Nice shot. Was close. Scary close, but she's found cover. Can she go in between the four and the three and kick it from the back? It looks like she can. That's what she's looking at right now. Yes, yeah, that's right there. Now she's on the rail, so it's going to be hard to put English on the ball. Accurately put yeah, English that, that, on the ball. Yeah, that bend. Like, yeah, you don't have a big bend. window between, yeah. the, between the four. Yeah, it's not a great shot, but what else do you play here? There's not much more options. And they're under a shot clock, too. 30-second shot clock. They have 60 seconds after the break. Oh, she bent it quite a bit. <laughs> she wasn't going for the kick. She was going for the... For the hit, you think she was doing it? She was aiming to go real first. Oh, okay. So I think she just bent it too much. This young lady right here at the table does happen to have the highest woman's Fargo rating at 776. Her opponent, she's going to, oh, she's. She's going for three fouls here. Cue ball sure behind the like four. It, yeah. And just because of where the five ball is, the, because the five doesn't go, she wants to put that one just next to it. And this lady that's coming to the table has a 677 Fargo, 199 points under her opponents. And that score went 4 3. Somebody's Fargo's coming up a little bit. See if she's kicking this one rail. Trying to get the cue ball on the other side of the five. Nice hit. She'll oh. play this off the four, the one. No, I'm rolling up on the five here. Or is she going aggressive now? The five ball does go. 
just gotta make sure that if you shoot the one of the four that you don't lock up the four that's something players yeah. they they tend to then just right. rip it into the four and then they lose the four ball somewhere and they tie it up at just medium speed that four should come off the head rail or tied it up a little bit just like you said no nah, well it's easy combo but it's yeah, tied up a little bit yeah the combo could have been more worse so nicely done Soft draw, kill the cue ball off the rail. No, two rails. Now, how is she going to play position to gain control over that four ball after she will make the combination? I was expecting her maybe to go take the place where the three ball is. I think that would be a nice angle. The combination will get a little more difficult, but then there's a higher reward on getting on the four. Four ball. Got a little thin, just okay. Can she hold a cue ball or has she go? I think we might have gone a little too far, so she might have to go around the angles. Three rails to the center of the table. Yeah, looks like it. She decided to come all the way around instead of trying to hold it. I'm okay with that. Things are looking good here. If she can you know, stay in control, don't. She might have a little angle on the six to where she sh might be queuing on this over the temple for the seven after. No, nicely struck. She's starting to strike the ball a little better than the first set, and would be a good run out too. Was not that easy. Nine and the ten to open up the first game of the second set and try to win the semifinal in straight sets as she's done her previous matches. Game number one goes to Rita Chow. Quiet Sunday morning here in Wisconsin. Red PK rush. And her little piece of chalk there on the side next to her. Now, Wisconsin produces 60% of the nation's what fruit? Pineapple. <laughs> That's next month when we go to Hawaii, Tim. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> Let's go for the one more on the side here. Let's see what she can do. Oh, so the three ball coming to a rescue. Uh, no rescue. And gives up control of the table. Well, she was on her way to scratch there. But nine ball saved her. and She has locked that seven ball though. So not a straightforward run out here. No, she's got the six nearby though. And the five. Maybe there's a seven ten combo in the side. It's something to look forward to. 
and take a look at. It does look real close. She's a little bit hampered by that three ball though to make this one. Never a doubt and oh. There's lots of doubts now. Yeah, I mean this looks, this always looks a lot easier than it is. People will say, yeah, but the two ball is hanging in the hole. Yeah, but yeah. then controlling the cue ball is. She'll be stretching to get to this ball. So she's gonna kick it instead. Yeah, real first. Yeah. Or not. I'm sorry, the two ball. We were looking at the three as position. Oh, she's missed the whole two ball. That's even there. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah, and it is just because she was queuing with that seven ball. It was just that hint of outside that she put on it. Yeah. Just that little hint of outside. Yeah, from this angle, there is a 7-10 combination in case that seven ball is really tied up to where you can't really do much more with it. There's different options. You could cut the five in the side and run into the seven, ten with the six. But if the combo is there, why even bother? Well, exactly. When when they're lined up like that, I mean, the odds of missing that combo if you get decent decent position is you make it probably ninety eight times out of a hundred. So I'm going to shoot it. I feel safe. Ah, uh, it's going to have to throw just a hair. Yeah, but th they are nice, really nice close camera. to each other, so I think it's still okay, though. Yes. Oh, this is a nice shot. Look at the speed, staying away from the nine, perfect angle on the five. She's lined up perfect. Now she will decide whether she shoots the combo or takes the seven in the corner pocket. Oh, it looks like she's playing yeah. the corner. Corner or side. Well, it's not easy to shoot the seven in the top left corner and get on the eight yeah. because of the ten ball is blocking a lot, a bunch of lines. She's on the right. Uh, looks like she can cut this in this. I don't know if she can. I go don't know forward if she can go to the side and go forward. Yeah, I don't know if she can. Oh, either. especially from this yeah. angle. Yep. Nice camera work. She Very nice. In the worst case, she could play safe behind the ten. But. You just park the cue ball right there. Just make sure you don't make it. I like parking the cue ball. I like that thing. I like that a lot. Yeah, I think, play I think it's the right shot. Little left spin to squeeze the seven ball over the side pocket. You can hit a little thicker. Just try to stay as close as you can to the ten ball. That's the main thing. Getting the hook is not extremely difficult here. And she got it. Well, fairly easy kick, but where are you kicking the seven two? I'm just, uh, I was thinking she might be jumping, but uh, it's a little bit too much for me. The jump? Yeah. yeah. It's too close. No, she's going for it. And she's taking the back end part of the cue to get it up quick. I didn't know yet how much that, that's a good of that ball there. was in yeah. there, yeah. Not much. So she's jumping here. It's a big shot. You know, if she creates... A right-handed jump shot, she's left-handed. What wow. a shot. She just changes over hands and just, wow. Opposite hand jump shot. Yeah, deserved a little bit more maybe to get on the eight. Now, does she play 
the safety behind the nine, or is she going to bank the eight? Yep. There's your answer. Oh, she's left the bank, and it's this one's close. She's gonna really press this in. I think she's not gonna play this soft. So after such a great shot from Sateva, that safety was just not strong enough. And Chow is going to punish her for uh, not making that safety a little stronger, as you said. Yeah, the big 2-0. Two-game lead. Halfway to ending the match. So Devas must come through here. She better take advantage of every opportunity that's presented. She needs one to start with. Yeah, that was a great jump shot by, Z by Christina. Uh, opposite hand. Yeah, just... Yeah, I actually, like I said, I thought she was going to get a little bit more after. Mm -hmm. Because the cue was always going to float up. There was a big chance to getting on that 8. So I thought it was kind of unlucky not to get on the 8. Yeah, but in order to get it up that fast, she had to she had to elevate quite a bit. Which kind of stopped the cue ball. Yeah, if, yeah. I I was a little... There's a couple of players there. Sad there. Maite Ropero Garcia and Sarah Rota watching the ladies play. Che Yu Chow breaking game number three and set number two. Nothing towards the pocket. And she's left the one ball open. Open, but a long way away. The natural angle to come towards the two. Lay it on the rail between the five and the rail. Oh, she's going to come up on top. No, she didn't yeah, want to. didn't want to drag it. Yeah, or at least stun the cue ball. Yeah. I thought she was going to stun the cue ball. She didn't really get on the two. Well, she can still cut it. She, she can. can. Is there any way she can cut it and get it safe? Yeah, she's got a great, I mean great safety behind the 8-9. I, th I think up she can it. cut it to the corner with low right and play a long reel, long reel. The cue ball behind the 9-8 in case she does not make it. You need a little insurance on this shot because sometimes you will just get it a little thicker and it might hang up in the pocket. So she's playing high. Simple. Okay. Yeah. Simple, simple. Nice shot. She was looking at shooting the two and then something changed her mind. Maybe just because that shot clock started to beep, maybe that shook her off. Well, it was a good change. I like how she changed it. Last minute calls the extension. One rail. Medium speed, I think. Separation. 
Oh, oh look at oops. Oh. Yeah, she's got her. Looks like she does. That's I'm sure we'll get a good camera angle on this. And there's the camera angle. It may not have it. Looks like she's gonna spin over it. Yeah, there is a oh yeah, I, I, she may have considered going rail first, if she couldn't see it. Yeah, I just the way how she struck the ball, I didn't really feel like she messed it. See? see, she had such a small backswing that there was barely any any strokes or any spin on there. I think she was trying to play the messe. So jump shot from. Chow, we don't, didn't really get to see her jump much. She kicked most of the match. Good chance, and she just left it on. She's given up a shot. Big three ball in the corner. Yeah, it's just what is the two ball gonna do after contacting the three? Depends on the speed she shoots it at. Shot. Nice control. And she really needs to step it up a little bit. She really needs to get this game on the board. Oh, yeah. If she gets she down 3 0, then I am going to start packing my stuff, maybe. Could be, because that's a lot of pressure on Christina to come back four games straight. And then have to, you know, if she does come back four games straight, what uh, momentum to go into the third deciding set? Yeah, yeah, of course, it, it's always possible. It's sure. just that she hasn't been really looking too great this match. I would love to see more of a match between the two because I, I know both players can. So Rita has been better this set than the first set. Mm -hmm. And Stateva has been hanging at the same game a little bit. Well, uh, you know, that could, a lot of it could be just, you could use Fargo to, to explain the difference. At 100 points difference, she is basically a twice the player, according to Fargo, not me. Just letting the figures talk. So, uh, you know, I think Christina is playing to her speed, and um, and Rita's playing below hers, and now starting to come up to hers. Not really believe that five ball didn't go in. Well, she has left it tough though. This is a great shot from Chow. Not tough even, enough. Even, even though she didn't really. Oh, she's called a foul. She's she called a foul. She called a foul on herself. Did she hit that six ball first? Doesn't appear to. Where does she make a foul? Well, she called it. I yeah, don't know so if the she, referee's she, gonna. She must have touched the six. I, it's not a foul. I guess she said she wasn't playing it. Oh yeah, because she she doesn't take ball in hand. Yeah. So, oh, she wasn't trying to make the five. Guess not. Maybe she was trying to kick around and push it towards the six. Here it is again. Yeah, no movement on the six, and yeah, she must have been trying to play safe on the five. I think yeah, I think she was trying to kick it. That's all we can think is, you know, we're not sure exactly what the player was playing there. Well, good safety from Sateva and nice hit from Chow as well. Leaving a pretty, pretty tough shot though. This is going to show how well Sateva is feeling. Cue ball on the rail. She can't really force the cue ball. She has to play it like medium speed, bring the cue ball to the center of the table.
big miss. Will the cue ball get against the rail? This uh, this could this could spell doom for Christina here. She's had a couple of misses now. That five ball, this one here. Hot shots she has to come with in order if she's going to win four straight games. She's got to come with some shots. She's running out of time. Oh, she's she run out of time. Straight in the pocket there. Yeah. That's just it. You can't let a champion find their groove. Just when you, when you get opportunities, you have to make them pay. It's been tough, yes, but you have to do it. She's playing low, so she's really trying to juice it up with a lot of spin. She did pretty good. She's, She's going to perfect. run into the nine, but she can push that nine up to the corner. She wants to run into the nine. She's going to send it to the corner. The only thing that could go wrong here is make the nine at the same time. And she did, and she laid it up in front of the pocket for an easy, well, she got a little straight, didn't she? Yeah, but yeah. she will draw her way out of this. Because this is the same thing. You don't have to get perfectly straight on the ten. Just make sure you get closer. Make sure you guarantee yourself a shot and get some closer. And you know, she, she cheated the she pocket. She cheated the pocket just a she, bit. She slid. didn't try to get straight, just 50 yard line, get the same shot as usual. Just close with a nice angle. To get on the hill. And she does. Three games to zero in the second set which could be the deciding set for the semifinal. And coming up at 1 p.m., we have Allison Fisher and Christina Tkach, the Duchess of Doom versus the Crystal. Well said, well said. You should do more of those intros. You're really good at it. <laughs> you like the Duchess of Doom. I thought I thought yesterday you let me down with that big kill off. Hello. No. Yeah. No, I did great. Uh, <laughs> no, we've been making. We were trying to have some fun. Yeah. Trying to give you guys in the in, in the YouTube chat something to laugh about, so we don't bore you to death. So let's see if she can make that one ball on the break. This will her be her last break In for this set or this match if she manages to win 4-0. But I hope that Christina hits a little gear, get some games on the board, get some confidence. It's only four wrecks she needs to win. One ball did not no. go in. Uh, no, ball, the five ball, ball did. No. And the eight ball spoiled the party. Oh, look at. And so did the six. <laughs> in case you wanted to feel brave and kick at the one, the six ball said, not going to happen. Well, there is a jump, though. And not that, sure. Yeah, that two ball does go. So if you jump and you make the one, if the two ball goes, yeah, then it's wide open. So, no, she's pushing. She must have not liked the, the two ball after. That applause was uh, the fact that they just took a picture of Tim and put it out for the audience. I don't, I don't believe that. <laughs> <laughs> now in the background, of course, we have the CSI Wisconsin State Championships going on. And it's also finals day there, so. Yeah. So busy day. There's 14 tables set up in the same room as this uh, this ballroom. And then there's 42 up on top in the second floor. And they're all full right now because it is finals day. This is a tough shot, though. I d I'm not too sure what to play here. 
unless he's going for a carom on the A, which is quite attacking. She could just bank it over uh, short of the seven and get behind the two six and just stay, leave the cue ball there. And that works. Um, the pros are playing on nine foot predator tables and the amateurs and the state championships are playing on set seven foot predator tables. So Jout jumping here, trying to get some distance. No, oh, that didn't work. Now a big opportunity for Christina to get on the board and mount a comeback. Stay in this set and stay in this match. We do have some upcoming events. Michigan in Battle Creek will have the Predator Pro Billiard Series and the state championships September 19th through the 24th. Puerto Rico, the Caribbean championships in San Juan, Puerto Rico, November 6th through the 12th. And Ohio, in Wilmington, Ohio, October 11th through the 15th. October will be Austria. Two in the corner, follow up for the three in the the other side pocket here on the right. That should slide in, it does. Now is she playing the short side of the four or is she gonna try and well she also doesn't have a really nice angle to play herself for a four ten combo as she's going away from the two balls. If she's going for the 4-10 combo, it's going to tell me that she's pretty desperate for a quick game and lacks the confidence to run out. Well, on the other side, where do you go to now anyways with this angle? Like it's, now she's looking at taking a long cut on the 4. It's a good point. She might have to go to the short reel with right spin and Between go the six, short, seven. short, long, oh, and you call might back down table, but... Uh, she, she could also play with, l I'm not too sure if it grabs. Is she going to play the four ball or the carom? I think I like the carom here. I think you can get the four ball safety of mind as well. The only problem with the carom, Tim, I see is she's probably, she might play it with pocket speed and hang up the 10. Yeah, well, the That's four the only is, problem. Yeah. She's going for the four. Oh, she, yeah, I like I, I like doing that much better than that ten ball there. I didn't like the oh, ten ball. Oh, that cue ball is going to be perfect. If I'm going to miss, that's a good way to miss. Yeah, it's, uh, most of the time that's a pretty good leave. I almost made it, and I don't think she has left something on the four. It's pretty much, she's, she's still playing safe. With a three game lead, she's still playing safe. That's discipline. And I believe Christina will be banking this ball here. That's, she has to be aggressive here. Yeah. She has to be aggressive. Because. And it lays nice. I don't think she's gonna get a lot easier chances than, than this. We'll have to force it though, the angle is a little wide, so the more speed you put, the shorter the angle gets. And, and she, she held it. Yeah, she held it too much, yeah. yeah. Well, and, well, she could not have left it any worse. Well, worse for. Well, worse for herself. <laughs> she couldn't have left it any better for, for uh, Chow. And the six ball goes by the seven, so it's going to be, it's going to be an easy six, seven. Eight. The difficulty is going to be going from the eight to the nine, and we can all see that's not difficult. So 
just a matter of holding the nerve and finishing it out. Back to the center of the table here. just enough did look a little bit short at first but the good thing is she can float the aid in the cue ball will cross over automatically and then this to go to the center of the table There it is. To close out the semi-final, Rita Chow is 10 ball. Yeah, so Chiu Chow wins 2-0 in straight sets against Christina Sateva. Christina Sateva, again a nice tournament, finishing third. In this Apex Wisconsin 10 balls open. And Rita Chow is through to the final. So our next match will be at 1 p.m. with Christina Tukac and Alison Fisher. This was George Echea and myself, Tim De Ruiter. And uh, thank you all for watching. We would love to see you back at 1 p.m. Hope so. Thank you. See you, folks.